Okay, so have you gone through the key? Key, key. Key. And how many exams are there? So, how many subjects did you write? Monday exam, only physics exam? Physics or chemistry? Probably, it must be. Okay, so chemistry, have you gone through key? Key, key. For physics? And the exam? The exam. So, did you write it? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Ah, okay, that's a, uh, uh, that's a for Monday's exam. I did not send it for Wednesday's exam. I sent for Wednesday's exam. I sent key also. Okay, both the things I have been sent. Okay, uh, so perhaps the second key might have forgotten. Okay, I will discuss the key, right? But not now. Okay, so there's a yesterday, a Shiva sir called me and he was okay asking me to establish a new type of schedule, new type of schedule in the sense, sir. So, according to his idea, okay, so today one topic has to be discussed. In the same topic tomorrow we the exam. Okay, so immediately we have to take up the question and discussion. Right? Immediately we have to take up one more topic. But the thing is the question paper discussion itself because there are 60 questions now. The 60 questions in the sense even if you take two minutes or three minutes, but then okay, per question in the discussion, because I need to explain, I need to work it out and in the end I have to show you. Okay, so by doing that, if at all any techniques we are going to impose, uh, even the thing also we need to discuss. But okay, so even if you take three minutes, okay, maximum. Three minutes maximum. In one minute, of course, you will be waiting for one minute, but I will be taking three minutes because I need to explain now. Okay, so there's a uh, here three hours here, so it takes only question of discussion. Or two and a half hours you take maximum. Two and a half hours uh, you take maximum. But okay, uh, immediately there's a next topic we have to discuss. Next topic we have to discuss in the sense of for that next topic, uh, next chapter. Huh? So there's a uh, minimum, okay. So two to three hours of time it will take. So in a day, how many hours we have to spend? Minimum six hours. Six hours a lecture has to be there. Okay, six hours a lecture has to be there. So today there is no exam. Yes, for my knowledge, what the point? Okay, so today I will be taking up this uh, current electricity. Okay, so there's a capacitance and potential you wrote on Wednesday. Okay, and in that there's a here electric charges and fields you wrote on Monday. In those two question papers, if at all you want to have the question paper discussion, all the things I will take. Either tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Okay, by spending some extra time, okay, I will be discussing those question papers also. Those question papers also. Got it? Okay, so there's a one more thing. This, I heard that uh, in the question paper, the questions levels are somewhat higher. So that's what is it you felt, I think. Am I correct? Yes, sir, no. Okay, are they really higher? Yes? 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 yes. <laughs> but frankly speaking, one thing I am telling you. Okay, so there's a, there's a two question papers I have sent. The third question paper, which is going to be tomorrow, that I will compose this evening, I will be composing. Okay, frankly, I am telling you that in those two question papers, I did not compose any question upon yeah. Because I was very much scared. If I compose the question automatically, that will be upper eighty level, up mid level, okay, higher level. So where okay, I have taken those questions from in the sense from the previous CET papers of different states. If you want, okay, I can show you. This person is from Punjab CBT. This person is from Maharashtra CBT. This year. Got it? Okay. So in different states, the CBT exams are there now. Not NEET, not YA, uh, 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 so not YAMS. Okay. So not there's a PMT, not like that. Got it? Okay. Not even there's a games. So even games questions also I can All the CBT questions of different states I have taken up. Okay, so ultimately what I'm telling is, uh, so why you felt difficulty? So in answering those questions in the sense, uh, I say only one thing. Okay, so during the two years of your PU, much emphasis might not have been given in solving the problems and this complete approach of how we have to take up. Of course, you study your theoretical approach, huh? so theory and all the things, uh, okay, by hotting, writing, mighting gap. So this type of activities you might not gosh. But the thing is how to apply those concepts while doing the problems. In this aspect, some enough practice was not given to you. Am I correct? Yes or no? Okay, so don't worry. 
Okay, don't be under frustration, don't be under tension, don't get fever, don't spoil your health. Understood? Don't get headache. Okay, so there's some example. Okay, I will compose an example. It's a thing that the level of the person has to be easy. Okay, so for two to three examples, I will make it like that's easy questions. I will make it so that we will get energized, you will get boosted. Yes, I can do. What it is? Yes, I can do like this. But one thing I'm telling you, okay, on one day you have to come to that level because uh, your real CBT examination paper is not like that. Okay, because uh, whatever the questions I have given in the previous two question papers, uh, those questions were purely from different states of CBT question papers in different years. Right from, okay, I have taken the questions right from 95, 1995 onwards, I have taken. 1995 onwards, I have taken. Punjab, CBT, Maharashtra, CBT, even our Telangana, they said. But again, so those questions I picked up. Those questions I picked up. I did not pick up any need person. I did not pick up any aims person, any IAT person. But the point? Okay, so even then you found difficulty in the sense yesterday I thought. Okay, so this again immediately that's I got an idea. What is that during these two years of your PO, much young classes, much practice was not given to you. Okay, don't worry. Okay, that's I will make you perfect. Okay, let's go with the simple ones. Slowly, slowly, we will upgrade our level. We will upgrade your also our level. What it like this. Okay, so that's again, that's again about those topics because now I will have taken up the question of discussion. Because but I have to make you ready for the next exam now. That's why new topic I am going to take up that is the current electricity. Current electricity. In that current electricity, how many topics I will be completing today? In those topics only, the examination will be conducted tomorrow. In fact, the person paper is not ready. Tonight, after dinner, I will sit with the computer, I will compose the person paper. But again, so by the time that we will have a plan, okay, how many topics we will be able to complete? In those topics only, okay, you will be examined. But it ends. Okay, from, because yesterday there was no time. Yesterday by uh, 1 30, 2 o'clock, sir has called and told this is a news and script. Okay, otherwise, so I would have prepared practice worksheets uh, even for today, tonight, what practice you are supposed to take up, tomorrow evening, what practice you are supposed to take up, even for that. Also, I thought of making some practice worksheets at least. Okay, so 20 to 40 percent per topic like this. But there was no time. Understood? I was informed about this news script. Yesterday afternoon by two o'clock. At the time I was in my college. Okay, so I was busy with my classes. But it, so I did not find any time to compose any. Okay, but she is. Okay, so there is a here. So now this week, what we have to do is some why concepts are going there. Some conceptual problems I will make you work out. Don't worry. Okay, yes, yeah, many problems. Yes, yeah, possible. I will make you work out. From next week onwards, since this is final, is it final or will there be any changes again? Is it final or will there be any changes again? Huh? Changes up? Ah, that's no, no, no. With respect to physics. Because uh, so far, okay, okay, that's a fortunately or unfortunately, I did not get any confirmation regarding the skip. Huh? Okay, that's a, that keeps on changing. That keeps on changing. And by means of that, what happens? Uh, what about the material that I was supposed to, I, I was planning to send you? Okay, that is getting affected. I am not finding time. All of a sudden, at the end, that's it. Uh, so, okay, last minute, okay, that's when the things are informed to me. So, there's a hot time at the time. Because I will be having the remaining classes now. If your classes only are my complete whole day schedule, even the midnight also, I can sit and I can sit there. Yes, I know. Okay, so you're not with me, that's I have got so many classes, other classes. Okay, so in that way, okay, there's a different two to three days advance. If the things are in front of me, then effectively I can compose the okay? so material I can give it to you. Okay, so on Monday or Tuesday, something will be there in my mind, so which has to be taken up. So when I go on Friday, but all of a sudden so that's the first day, okay, or Wednesday, okay, one more thing will so that's will be informed. Then how can I? Yes, no. Okay, so the second what's I'm told is uh, Friday. Okay, this Friday, this is my exam. Friday, I will be discussing one concept. In this concept, tomorrow you will be having the exam. Okay, soon after the exam gets over, 
you this is a paper discussion i will take after paper discussion okay so one more topic i will be taking in my discussion in that topic day after tomorrow there is some sunday you will be having the exam after the exam gets over again we have a discussion again new topic i will be discussing and what about the topic that i was discussing i will be discussing on sunday okay on that topic again you will be having the test on friday am i correct yes sir yes. okay so this is what but last week uh, what i was informed was sir uh, monday physics of history tuesday bio and maths again wednesday physics and chemistry okay so that i was informed so this is changing am i correct am i huh tell me again okay already forward and then physics chemistry fusion biomass that only is calling sir no no so the words are so the shastra sir was telling is okay so there will be no physics test on uh, so monday tuesday and thursday only friday saturday sunday three exams from which we comes this week only two exams don't you know this okay so that's what i was informed monday to thursday there will be no physics exam you will be having the remaining subjects you will be having the remaining subjects what is it okay so friday saturday sunday three exams three exams understood so that's what i was informed so that's a let's follow this week so you okay so yeah, there's a to bring out more effectiveness so what could be changed so that's uh, the second kind of so i will discuss with him in person right okay but the sir you tell me one thing so if i complete okay that night itself that's you have to prepare of course this week practice worksheets i am not able to give you from next week on what's what about the topic i am going to discuss the practice worksheets i will give you so you will be working out you will be practicing the problems on those worksheets next day morning you will be having the test is that wrong is that wrong okay like that we will see if it are you mean you feel come across in a character with the means okay then again this some what best this so we can do this so we can do otherwise so by giving the one day one day gap one day one day gap in the sense of thursday if not the exam is conducted thursday i will not be there no thursday i will not be but okay okay so the second that the panel we have to see okay so this all of you please open your books now this is current direction this is the topic that i am going to take now current and present So, did you remember anything about this current year episode? Did you remember anything uh, about this current year episode? Means sir, what? Huh? No sir. Thoda thoda. Huh? What is it? So, okay. So that's the here. Yani, uh, one direction you nod your head. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yes. Ah. Uh, what tells so did you remember anything ha huh? in this current election ha huh? the form way that we come across ha huh? so what about the types of problems that we have to take up in this current electricity ha huh? okay so current electricity okay so the concept of formula and concept of problems so all the things i will make you up now okay so the second you see current electricity what do you mean the current electricity So far in static electricity, we have seen that the electrical charges will be at the state of rest. The electrical charges will not be moving. The electric charges will not be moving. Okay, they are static. The static in the sense they will be at a particular position. Okay, the velocity of those particles will be zero. Okay, so when the particles are at the state of rest, they will be exhibiting so many effects. The very first effect that we come across is exhibiting the electric field. By means of that electric field, if at all you bring any other particle or any other body, on that body there will be some force acting by the field. There is electric field. There is a force applied by the field. So this type of effect is there. And one more thing, there will be some potential at that particular point. And if at all you take any two points in that electric field, there will be two different potentials. Potential difference also be found out. What is it? So all these things have been studied. And there will be some potential energy. Why potential energy? Because the particles are not moving. Okay, so up to electrostatic potential and capacitance. Even in the capacitance, 
If there's a energy stored within the capacitor, it's equal to half CV square. What is that? Potential energy. Why potential energy? Because of the charges are not moving. So if you provide some charge on any body, the charges will stay there on the surface without any motion. But the mind, that's why potential energy will come across. If all the charges are in the state of motion, kinetic energy will be having there due to motion. Okay, but never we came across the kinetic energy of charged particles up to the you know, so in the three concepts of electrostatics. Can I get it? Yes, I know. Okay, so by means of that, what we have to conclude is uh, when the electric charges are at rest, they will be exhibiting many effects. The study of all of those effects is known as uh, electrostatics or static electricity. Electrostatics or static electricity. But again, now we will be taking the current electricity. Current. Current in the sense what, what do you mean by current? What do you mean by current? Current in the sense that is motion of something. So current in the sense you don't say that only in the electrical charges we are using the current. If at all water is flowing, that we call water current. Okay, and if at all wind is blowing, that we call as wind current. What the matter? Current in the sense that there is something which is moving. There is something which is flowing or moving. That is called current. That is called current. Got it? Okay. So, there's a how does the electric current? Okay, take this. How is this electric current possible through any conductor? Okay. And before all, this, you want to make any charged particles move. Okay. So, there's a through any conductor. See whatever the explanation I am giving you. So, still many people may be under a kind of impression. What is that? Uh, there's a different others here, there are soft tells problems, then there's a, those problems will be realism. Okay, so wherever the concept is going on, okay, there's the we will sleep. Don't think like that. You'll see it, you must have noticed. I don't know whether you noticed or not. There will be some theoretical applicable questions, not only to see it, you will meet us. Even in need examination, there will be some theoretical applicable questions apart from numerical. Okay, for theoretical applicative persons, there will be some weightage. But coming to IIT JEE, so there will be no theoretical applicative, only numerical Understood? Then, okay, there's some NEET and CET examinations. Theoretical applicative persons will be there. Okay, so this is twisted in many ways. Okay, the things will be twisted. But again, so that along you have to keep in mind, you have to understand. Okay, so whatever the things I am teaching, that itself is not sufficient. I am telling you, be careful with the concepts. Okay, what we are going to do is, okay, at home or in the hostel, whenever you find time, if at all you have any reference books, just like, okay, so this is or any other thing, okay, so before the problems, you take any reference book, before the problems, so much of theory will be given. Why do they do it? Because that knowledge helps you to take up the problems. If not here in the hostel or at home, what you have to do is just like a story. Okay, you need to open the book, just line to line, paragraph to paragraph, you have to read what is the concept involved in that. You have to imagine, you have to visualize, and you have to approach. You have to read while reading. Okay, so this is here. You need to write the value points. You must maintain your own handbook. Just like bullet points, you have to keep writing. Okay, in doing so, you may come across many values, many units, many conversions. Many conversions. Not the mind? Okay, so this is here, all the things you have to keep noting down. Okay, once if you note down, you will not remember. Remember. Okay, time to time, time to time, daily ones, you have to have a look at it. Okay, then the things will be printed permanently in the mind. But why not? Okay, because for me, only physics is there. Oh, so for me, only physics is there. But for you, not only physics. Chemistry is there, volume is there, huh? mass is there, so many subjects will be there. But the matter, after completing physics preparation, you put on your mass, finish whatever the impressions that you got on your mind, those impressions will go. New impressions will come. Mass impressions. Yes or no? But we have to make them permanent in the mind. That comes only by repetition. Repetitive study, repetitive process. What is it? That is called revision. 
Okay, the only one is just to get news for 10 minutes or 15 minutes or whatever the handbook that you wrote, you have to have a look at it. What's the point? Okay, so the, you may ask, okay, what is that? Sir, why are you telling so nicely you are telling that when we start being practical, it is taking so much time, sir, huh? to complete one chapter. Okay, so this is here, it may take two hours of time. Yes, I agree. You have to spend. At this moment, if you don't spend that much time, if you at this moment, if you don't work hard, then when will you do? This is the time for you to work hard. Am I correct? Yes, sir. No. No, sir. Now we are very busy with the CEO and we know let those exams get over, then we will be relaxed, we will be free. Then we will read, sir. Okay, please don't ask anything till CEO the exam gets over. Till the exam gets over, the moment those two exams get over, we will be free. Then you ask us whatever we want, we will read. Hesi Verma, we will finish. Yesar Gupta, we will finish. Arihant, we will finish. DC Pandey, we will finish. Yes or no? Okay, so what about the 100% perfection, just like a scientist to write knowledge that you are going to get? You have write the next year. Yes or no? Time is very precious. Okay, manage your time. Try to understand what I am doing. Okay, how much hard work we are putting in, that much outcome will be coming out. Yes or no? That much outcome will be coming out. That's one of the secrets. But, okay, so there's a here currently the sense there is something which is in the motion. But it, and preferably in this, uh, okay, what kind of motion are we going to discuss? The motion of the electric charges. Ultimately, these electric charges have to flow. Okay, so this here, so from our lower classes, we know three kinds of materials, solids, liquids, and gases. Okay, so this is through what kind of materials this type of flow takes place? Flow of electric charges takes place under water. So in what kind of substances? Huh? Then solids. Okay, so liquids and gases. You see, this is a very important point. From this one theoretical application, the person can be composed. Okay, in CS, RH. Okay, usually what do we know? Huh? So this here, you have to take solid state materials. In the solid state materials, we have Three categories conductors, semiconductors, and insulators. Okay, so that means the solids are suitable for the conduction. Not all solids, in those solids, there is one special category conductors. Conductors means they are the materials, they are the solids which allow the electric charges to flow through them, just like all metals. All metals are the good conductors, just like copper, so this is soft iron, and aluminium, uh, okay, even gold, even so energy. They are the good conductors. But again, okay, good conductors of electricity in the sense that they are also good conductors of heat. Heat and electricity, there is a link. Okay, so usually, what about the substances which allow the heat energy to flow? The same conductors will be allowing even electric current also to flow through. To flow through them. Okay, now this what do you mean by semiconductors? Semiconductors are the materials which don't allow the electric charges completely, partially there. Just like silicon, germanium, arsenic, boron, phosphorus. But it? okay, so semiconductors are very few in the periodic table. Semiconductors are very few. But those semiconductors are very, very significant. There are some devices which function only on the semiconductors. Okay, so this is here effectiveness wise, if you you see conductors are more effective than semiconductors. Conductors will be allowing the electrical charges 100%, whereas semiconductors will be allowing the electric charges 50% or 30%, 20%. Even then, there are some devices which function only on the basis of semiconductors. What are they? What are they? Diodes. Transistors, NPN, PNP, PN junction delivery. But it, what about the electronic devices that we are using nowadays? All the electronic devices will be depending upon semiconductors only. Thinking that the conductors are more effective. So if you give the connections of means of conductors, what happens? They function because they are very, very sensitive devices which don't require continuous flow of electrons. PN junction delivery you take. 
transistor cubing and all these things uh, more and more comprehensively we will be discussing in semiconductor devices so chapter there's an electronics chapter okay they require only controlled flow of the electrons the type of control this is very very important controlled flow of the electrons takes place through semiconductor whatever the sentence which is coming out of my mouth each and every sentence okay even if you don't write you need to register in the mind remember your listening should be perfect are you getting my point in? okay so there are some electron in many all electronic devices need the controlled flow of electrons that controlled flow of electrons is not possible by conductor and if all you give the connections by a copper wire or aluminum wire what happens the pulse of large number of electrons will get infused in the device finish the device will get one what the point okay controlled flow of electrons only is required so there is possible by means of semiconductors okay so they want to semiconductors we will be taking a comprehensive discussion in that last chapter <coughs> okay now coming to insulators and what do we mean by insulators insulators means they are the devices they are the materials which do not allow the electric charges to flow through them at all that means the resistance of opposing force will be more but the point, whatever the conditions you apply, what are the conditions? A large amount of potential and difference you apply. So in between the two years of the insulator, no way. Electron, electrons will be there. But the thing is, those electrons cannot come out of electrons. That is the reason. But if by means of that, then electrical conduction is not possible in the case of in the case of in the case of insulators. Okay. Now I was talking about only solids. Okay, at normal conditions, get normal temperature and pressure, the electrical conduction is possible by means of this through these solids. That's a clear. But what are liquids? What are liquids? Can we obtain the electrical conduction through the liquid? Okay, so the electrical conduction can be obtained. But then large number of conductors we come across in solids, but the type of large number of conductors we don't come across in the case of liquids. The liquids which allow the electrical charges to pass through them, what do we call? So we will be calling them as electrolytes. Electrolytes we call. They are called electrolytes. We will be just calling them as electrolytes. Electrolytes. Got it? Okay. Now we have the normal so conditions, normal temperature and atmospheric pressure. Electrolytes will be sending, will be passing, okay, will be allowing the electric charges to pass through them. But what are the gases? Gases never conduct them under normal conditions. Under normal conditions. At normal temperature and okay, pressure, the electrical conduction will not take place through the gas. And if at all the electrical conduction takes place through the gases under normal conditions, the finish, we will not survive than this. And whenever lightning happens during rainy day, lightning means that is uh, the electrical, okay, so formation, electric charge formation, okay, due to that, the clouds undergo a kind of rubbing due to friction, electrification in space. And if at all, this gas induction, okay, the electrical charge is uh, immediately that electrical charge will be passing, okay, you will get electrocuted like anything, we will get severe shock, okay, the people will die. What it is? The pins um, under normal conditions, uh, gases you take, gases do not conduct the electrical charges. But gases also conduct electrical charges under some forced conditions. And what are forced conditions? Yes, um, can you tell? Can you tell? Okay, the pressure, atmospheric pressure has to be reduced drastically. Okay, so what is the normal atmospheric pressure? Normal atmospheric pressure is 76 centimeters of mercury barometer. Okay, well, that's a barometer, that's a barometer. So, really, okay, so if you want to convert this one in terms of millimeter, 760 millimeters of mercury. So, this is what okay, this is, a, this is what the pressure, normal pressure, atmospheric pressure. So, you need to reduce this normal atmospheric pressure from 760 mm to okay. 0 0.01 mm of Hg, you imagine. Okay, so the conditions. Okay, that's a they're highly okay, that's a risky conditions. 0 0.01 millimeters of Hg. 0 0.01 millimeters of Hg. Yet there's low pressure. 
low pressures, very low pressures, very, very low pressures, very, very low pressures before you take the electrical conduction experience. Okay, and very high potentials. And the normal potential also potential. Okay, what do we know? The normal potential 240, 230. Is that all? Okay, so that potential is also here, we will get serious. But the potential that is to be applied to have the electrical conduction through any gas that is to be from outside the coach. In fact, these are the conditions which are applied by JJ Thompson in the discharge field experiment. So, what do you mean by discharge? Here, so we come across the word which is a discharge. What do you mean by discharge? Discharge. Discharge means that is electrical conduction through gases at low pressures. That word is for discharge. What do you mean discharge? Discharge means that is the electrical conduction through the gases under low pressures. Under low pressures. That is called a discharge. There is a name given. Of course, discharge that has got normal verbal meanings. Okay, we will be using that. Okay, now this is the fellow is discharged from the hospital. That meaning is different. Okay, discharge means there is not physics related scientific word. Normal English word, we have so many synonyms, verbal meanings. But here the meaning is electrical conduction through the slide. The tube is known as a discharge tube through which huh, one thing was discovered. What is that? One thing was discovered which was very, very prominent because that only the complete modern okay, physics is started. What is that? The electron was discovered. And before that, the electron, okay, people were not aware. J.J. Thompson, he was the discoverer of electron. He was the discoverer of the electron. Next, Goldstein. He also did the same discharge to experiment with different conditions. Then he got a partial discharge particles which are coming out of the atoms. So, Goldstein was the discoverer of a proton. Next, discoverer of neutron. James Chadwick. Okay, so he was experimental. Okay, so this is on the beryllium particles. Beryllium targets, okay, with the alpha particles. When he bombarded alpha particles on beryllium targets, metal targets, what happened? Neutral particles work. Where are those neutral particles coming from? Those neutral particles were coming from inside the atom, which are neutral. They don't get deflected in the external electric field. Therefore, neutron he made. What it is? In fact, subatomic particles, the electron, proton, these two things were discovered by discharge only. Discharge means electrical conduction that takes place through a gas. Through a gas. Very good. Okay. So, this is here you see, this is okay, electrical conduction. This is something about electrical conduction, how we take the this. Now, in this chapter, we will not be discussing about the electrical conduction that takes place through a liquid, electrical conduction that takes place through a gas. We will be discussing electrical conduction that happens only through solids. Only through solids. That is the metals. Conductors. Okay, conductors. Okay. Now, how does the mechanism of electrical conduction take place? So, this is what we have to know now. Okay. Now, look at this. Here you see, I will be taking one copper water. Okay, microscopically bigger in size I have done because I wanted to show you, okay, the electrons division and all of this. Okay, the electrons division and all of this. This is solid state material. You know very well one thing that, okay, so the here you see, all the molecules are tightly packed. Okay, so what have I taken? Copper. Copper is monoatomic. Monoatomic in the sense if you take one molecule, there is only one atom present. So I can call them as molecules or I can even call them as atoms. Copper atom, copper molecule. Both things will be the same because it is monoatomic. That is monoatomic. What is it? Okay, now electrical conduction. What do you mean by electrical conduction? Electric current means that is the flow of free electrons. 
the electrons are present, but the electron becomes ineffective as long as it is inside the atom. Because when the electron is inside the atom, what happens? What happens? That is okay, surrounded by okay, positive charge. Nucleus will be attracting. Simply, okay, the electron will have to rotate just to revolve around the nucleus, just like a planet revolving around the sun. But again, okay, so the electron has to come out. When the electron comes out, then it will show its effectiveness. Somehow the electron has to be brought out. Okay, the way how the electron is being pulled out of the atom, that is called that is called emission. That is called emission. That is called emission of the electron. Okay, so in two ways the electrons can be emitted out. Okay, so the first one is called thermionic emission. The first one is called thermionic emission. So this is the first way. And the second one is field emission, we say. Field emission, we say. And the third one is photo emission. Photo emission. Thermionic emission, field emission, and photo emission. Photo emission. Okay, so thermal emission means what? Thermal energy we have to supply. Thermal energy we have to supply. But it, okay, so this here before you take any metal, so when the metal is heated up, that heat energy is absorbed by the metal. Okay, then that's here the metal, metal in the sense say atoms. Okay, so what about the electrons which are revolving? This is the atom. This is the nucleus, and this is the, the orbit you take. In this orbit, the electron is revolving in this direction. Okay, so this here, when the metal surface is heated, what happens? So heat energy is given to the atom. Then electron, which is uppermost, that electron will be absorbing the heat energy. Okay, momentarily, the energy of the electron will be increasing. When the electron's energy increases momentarily, what happens then? What happens then? The nucleus attraction force in between these two things. Okay, so the gets broken. The electron will be able to overcome the nucleus attraction force. The electron will be coming out of the atom in the free state. The moment the electron comes out of the atom, then the electron will start moving. That is called that. So this, okay, emission of the electron is obtained out of thermal energy. That's why this is called thermionic emission. Thermionic emission. Thermionic emission. Okay. For this thermionic emission, okay. So according to the nature of that particular metal, okay, the temperature has to be up to okay. So 100 degrees Celsius to sometimes thousand degrees Celsius also we will have. Heat. There are some metals whose melting points are beyond a thousand. And suppose you take iron. So what is the melting point of iron? Approximately 2,500 degrees Celsius to 3,000 degrees Celsius. Till there, higher temperatures, higher amounts of heat energy is it can hit the sky. For the fact, and if you want to take gallium, there's also metal. There's also metal. Melting point is very low. Gallium, even if you put, okay, let's say you have a palm, without a body temperature, it will get melted. With a body temperature, it will get melted. Very low melting point, gallium. Very, very low melting points. Iron, very high melting points. Very high melting points. But the mind, okay, so this is here, this is called thermionic division. Next, the field division. What do you mean by field division? On the metallic surface, you take a metal surface. Now, what we have to do is on that metal surface, you need to apply the electric field. The external field we have to apply. When the external electric field is applied, then what happens? The electrons will gain the energy by means of those energies, the electron will be coming out of the atom by breaking the nucleus attraction force. The emission which is obtained of field application, which is called field emission. To get that, this, okay, field emission and all things, okay, so this is here, how much, okay, this is intensity of the electric field, we need to apply approximately 10 power 3 to 10 power 6, uh, volt per meter, so electric field we need to apply, volt per meter, Okay, the electric field we need to apply. Then only the electrons will be coming out. Otherwise, the electron cannot come out of the atom in the free stage. Understood? Like this. And coming to one more thing that is a photo emission. 
what do you mean by photo emission? Photo emission with the sensor, photo emission with the sensor, you fire, so you take a light sensitive metal sheet. On that photo, photo means light. Light energy has to be incident. And just like UV, UV light, we need to incident. Or IR, infrared, also the same, not such. But the matter, so whenever ultraviolet so radiation takes place over here, so this is photo, photo energy. Photon, photon means that is a light particle named by Einstein and Max Planck in quantum physics. Okay, the photon acts as a particle, acts as a particle, though the light has wave nature, that is called quantum energy package, discrete energy levels. Not the matter? Okay, there's a, there will be carrying some momentum. With that momentum, when it hits the surface, what happens? Some kinetic energy is given to the electrons. Then the electrons will be coming out of the metal surface. This is called photo emission. This is called photo emission. And for this photo emission, how much frequency has to be there? The frequency has to be okay, 10 power 40 to 10 power 16 hertz order. So the first frequency has to be applied. Okay, so if you apply normal frequencies under normal frequencies, the electrons will not be emitted. These are the conditions. These values you have to remember, no on these values. There will be some persons related with these values. Remember, these are universal values. I'm telling you. 10 power 14 hertz to 10 power 16 hertz. Okay, frequency. Okay, of light we will take then only the electrons will be able to come out of atoms in the first state. Then only those electrons will be able to execute electric current. Execute electric current. Okay, so this is something about the method how the electron can be taken out of a metal surface. Okay, so the means the electron has to be released in the free state from the nucleus attraction forces. Okay, now what I'm telling you is look at this. So this is here you take carbon. You take carbon. Okay, so in the case of carbon, of course, the three things I have got wrong. Even if you don't apply those three things, the electrons will become much. We will not pay. Okay, so I did not apply any that way. I did not give any connection with the support. Even then, the electric current will be there. In what way? So look at this. Here you see these are the atoms and molecules. Okay. So the speciality of these conductors is in the solid state material, do these molecules exhibit any motion, any kind of motion? What kind of motion? What kind of motion they exhibit? Then in a solid state material, that is in the copper wire or aluminum wire. So, what kind of motion? Okay, so these particles exhibit you. Tell me. Tell me. Vibratory motion. Okay, rotatory motion. Vibration or rotation. Okay, so by means of these vibratory motions and rotatory motion, what happens? Huh? So, does these particles be there? When these particles collide, what happens? There will be ah, so out of these forces of attraction, forces of repulsion. Okay, what happens? Potential energies get away. During those collisions, those potential energies get converted into high energies. Okay, so those kinetic energies are absorbed by the atom, the electron. Okay, all of you be attentive with this mechanism. With this mechanism, I am going to give you an equation, formula. Okay, so what I'm telling is, uh, okay, so this will be vibrating. This also will be vibrating. This also will be vibrating. So by means of these vibrations, what happens? Uh, all these molecules undergo a kind of collisions. All these molecules undergo a kind of collisions. When collisions take place like this, when collisions take place like this, uh, what happens then? What happens uh, out of these collisions? Uh, the energies are double. Those energies are ultimately taken by the outermost electrons. The electron will come out. That energy is the electron to come out. Okay, the electron has come out here. The electron has come out. Like that, then, okay, so from each, okay, so you take copper. 
Will that happen? So what will the outermost together come? What will be the outermost together come? 4s1. 4s1. Yes or no? Okay, 4s1 get come. The 4s1 get come will become a box. From each atom. Yes or no? Like that, how many atoms are there? How that many electrons will become a box? If at all, 1 million. Okay, atoms are present in this, uh, 1 million electrons get box. And what do those electrons do? Those electrons exhibit electric current. Yes, sir. Oh, how oh, electric current came out. Now you bring one bulb. I will connect it. Can you make the bulb grow by means of that current? Why? Why? Yeah. The electric current will be there. But by means of that electric current, you can't get any practical applications. What is the reason? Because whatever the electric current which is coming out of these atoms, the electric current is not consistent. The electric current begins and gets vanished automatically. In what way? So, look at this. If you take one atom, this is copper you take. Okay, copper, atomic number is 29. Okay, 29 electrons are there, 29 protons are there. 29 electrons are there, 29 protons are there. Okay, so from this 29, one electron has come out. Then 28 electrons are there, but 29 protons are there over here. But why not? Okay, so there's a, in this stage, when the number of electrons and number of protons are equal, then only the particular copper atom is neutral. Got it? Okay, the moment one electron is lost, huh, this is not a neutral particle. Then the particle cannot be called as atom. This particle has to be called as ion. The particle has to be called as ion. Okay, so ion, what ion? Positive ion. And what is the stability of this ion? No stability. In the neutral state, atom is very stable. Stable means even if you leave it like that for one year or hundred years, it will be like that without any change. But in the ionic state, the particle becomes very unstable. Unstable in the sense of particle that ion. Okay, so we'll always try to gain the electrons whatever we lost. Are one electron I lost, two electrons I lost, somehow I have to get it back. I have to get it back. I have to get it back. Where can I get from? Where can I get from? That will be in such a way. It's uh, nature is only one thing. Whatever the electron we lost, somehow that particular particle wants to regain that particle. There's an electron again. By means by doing so, that will become stable. But the friend, okay, now electron get lost. Okay, so there's here all these things are the atoms. Now, from all these atoms, the electrons came out. Now, these things are ions, positive ions. Their nature is what they want to absorb the electron. They want to absorb the electron. The electron is moving. The electron is moving. The electron, this is one. Whereas a positive ion, copper ion is bigger with 29 protons. Yes, sir. Oh, with the 29 protons, it will be exhibiting the force of attraction. What can this small electron do? Yes, sir. No. Okay, the moment the electron comes nearer to any of the ion, immediately the particular ion catches me for its own stability. <laughs> In that episode, huh? so you should not find any fault with the uh, there's a there's a copper ion. See, copper ion is very bad. See, 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 this much uh, dirty ion. See, 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 see. Huh? It is opposite. That opposition only resistance. You may find that. Okay, when the electron starts moving, okay, big, big positive ions of copper will be there. Yes, the electron is coming. Come on, be ready. Wherever, okay, it is nearer. Catch her, absorb, finish, it is absorbed. That means what do you say? The motion of the electron is not, okay, the very free movement, the path of the electron is not the path of flowers, path of thorns. Yes or no? And just like a small rat moving among the elephants. Okay, the elephants are made, stand over here, not small rat, this is really Okay, do you think the movement of the rat is very comfortable and pleasure? Huh? Yes, sir. Any time any elephant has come 
Yes or no? There is no guarantee that the rat would move, would reach the plane. This end, okay, you have released it. Okay, is there any guarantee that the rat would be reaching that end? Like, yes or no? If all your friends are sleeping, then you think. Yes or no? If all the elephants are still sleeping, then it may go. But it, okay, so if at all any elephants, okay, stands on that finish. After covering few feet of distance, here, that's the key. In the same way, the electron also may get there's a big Okay, but till then, some current is also got developed now. What do we call those currents? Those currents are known as some transient currents. Those currents are known as a transient currents. Those currents are known as a transient. Transient currents we call. Transient currents. Transient currents. What is it? Transient currents we call. Okay, so these are very temporary currents. Now you want to have the continuous flow of the electrons. For that purpose, what should you do? You need to apply you need to connect this conductor okay to your power source the moment you connect this conductor to your power source then what happens tell see here so this is the electron okay it tries to move over here but the electron is getting it on the electron wants to move in fact but the electron cannot continue its motion the electron is getting absorbed the electron is getting absorbed the electron is coming out Getting the trouble, getting the trouble. But the point, okay. Now you are connecting this conductor to the power source. Okay, so positive terminal is beside, negative terminal is beside. You connect like this. Immediately, what happens? Tell. The moment you connect the conductor to any power source, battery, what happens immediately? Tell me, yeah. What happens immediately? What happens immediately? The moment you put the connection, the moment you stop, the moment you plug in the key of the circuit, what happens immediately? The electric field gets in. The electric field, okay? The electric field direction is what? From positive to negative. In this direction, on the exterior portion, the electric field of certain intensity is from. That's very really important. Now, do you know what this field does? This electric field becomes the Godfather. This electric field will be saving them from getting absorbed. Yes or no? Then the electric field gets developed. Okay, so the electric field okay, will be providing some energy. Okay, so one side the electron okay, will be ready to get absorbed. You may need the field comes. Then field says, oh my dear electron, come on, I am there here. I will see who will absorb you. Come on, yes, keep moving. I will be behind you. I will be pushing. Understand? I will be pushing. Okay. Out of that, one more concept will be coming. We will come across it. This is that comes out of field. Okay. So, so here, electric field, what it tells? The electrons inside, don't worry, I am here. I will be pushing you forward. Keep moving. As long as I am here, no one will touch you. As long as I am here, I am here means, as long as means, as long as the switch is on. As long as the switch is on, the electric field will be there. That as long as the electric field gets developed, this electrons will get touch. But don't think that then, uh, okay, so these positive ions will keep quiet. No, positive ions also will try to, okay, absorb, means the positive ions, when the electron comes over here, it will, okay, like this, it will try to stop the motion for, for its own absorption. By electric field, that electric field will be providing the energy by means of the electric field. What happens, sir? The electron, okay, in spite of so many positive ions are there, okay, so positive ions, Energy, the electrons go. Are you getting my point? But the electrons will be showing so many questions. It will be colliding the positive ion, coming back. Again, colliding, coming back. Again, colliding, coming back, but will not get absorbed. Will not get absorbed. Even the positive ion cannot do anything, but it will be 
Okay, so you will try to stop the motion of the electron. Okay, so after having so many collisions, look at this. Okay, so this, these are the first ones. These are the first ones. The electron starts moving over here. It is colliding, changes its direction motion. 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 Colliding, like this. So many collisions, so many collisions like this. Okay, but the electric vessel here, the electric field is applied in this direction. This is possible. Okay, ultimately, the electron, in spite of having number of collisions among them, the electron will start moving ahead. Okay, of course, that will be very slow. Slowly it moves. Slowly it moves. Okay, so what do we call this complete process? What do we call this complete mechanism? This is called drift, drifting of electron. Drifting of electron. With what velocity electron is drifted? So that is called a drift velocity. That is called a drift velocity. That is called drift velocity. Drift velocity means what? After having number of collisions, ultimately the electron will be showing the net motion. Okay, approximately, can you tell the order of this drift velocity? Yes. What is the order of this drift velocity? Come on, tell. 10 to the minus 4 meters. Okay, so while solving the problems, one thing you have to keep in mind. So, what about the drift velocity that you are going to calculate? Even if you get the 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 8, you need to adjust the value in terms of 10 power minus 4 and you have to represent because uh, this is the standard order of drift velocity. This is the standard order of drift velocity. That means, uh, okay, for example, you are doing some problem. In the problem, you got like this 2 into 10 power minus 5 meter per second, you know, this you got, but you should not represent like this. You need to represent that like this 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second, like this. You need to represent. Ultimately, drift velocity has to be represented in terms of 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second. That is the order. Okay, so 10 to the power minus 4 meter per second means uh, can you tell its actual value? That means in one second of time, how much distance will the electron be able to cover? Can you do Anybody? Yes. 10 power minus 4 meter per second drift velocity. I have given you the pins again one second of time. How much distance will it take? Think about it. What do you have? Such a in one second of time, how much distance will it cover? Amma? Ah, the things are the things are the actual value there. The actual value there, you, you tell 10 power minus 4, 10 power minus 3 meter means 1 millimeter. 10 power minus 4 meter means 0 0.1 millimeter. Millimeter is small, like on the scale. And if at all you divide that millimeter in 10 equal parts, each equal part to cover the electron will take one second. 0 0.1 millimeter. The electron takes. Okay, ultimately that the electron has to grow the balloon. Am I correct? Ultimately, that the electron has to grow the balloon. Correct? Okay, what is here? Okay, so this is here, which is here. Is that wrong? Okay, now this is here. So this, of course, how um, this is in what uh, this is, this is path uh, the network is taken by the electrician, we don't know because uh, okay, all the electrical cables are inside the box. Okay, so the electrical cable this is here, this is that is given like that, and it came like that. Right. Okay, from here to here, approximately this again 10 meters of wire he has used. 10 meters of wire he has used. 10 meters of wire, just you can it. approximately. Okay, 10 meters of wire between the source and the bulb. Source and the bulb. The moment I switch on, how much time the electron will take? Come on, calculate. 0 0.1 millimeter. Okay. So in one second. 
Okay, then one, okay, let us say here, 0 0.1 means 10 power 4. 10 power 1 minus 4 meter in one second. For one meter, how much? One bar, 10 power 1 minus 4. So, which is 10 power 1 minus 4 seconds? Okay, for 10 meters, how much? Huh? 10 power 5 seconds. 10 power 5 seconds. 1 lakh seconds. 1 lakh seconds. 1 lakh seconds means you convert it into minutes and hours. 1 lakh. 1 lakh meter. 1 lakh seconds divided by 60. Okay. So this will be minutes. 10,000 by 6. Okay. Okay. So that's again 1 by 60 hours. Okay, so you can be stupid, so they cancel it. How send by 36 hours? Okay, so this is here 36. Okay, so this is uh, first you take 100. 100 by 30, so 36. How much? 100. Ah, 36. Okay, so two times. Okay, so how much? 70. Okay, so 20 each. Ah, so how many times? Okay, approximately 8 times. Okay, 2 by H into 10, 28, 28 hours. More than one day. The pins, okay, after switching on, I switch on. The bulb is not going. You will be asking, what, sir, you have switched on, bulb is not going. Wait, man, wait, wait. The electron is coming slowly. And the dual electron, after showing so many um, positions, um, do you think that the electron's movement is very free movement? No. So, you know, how much struggle the electron is facing? It will come. It will come. It will come. It will come. Okay, to have the bulb glow, Okay, ah, so how much time will it take? If at all you want to have light energy from this bulb, you need to wait for 28 hours. Yeah, correct? Yes or no? 28 hours you have to reach. One lakh seconds of time you have to reach. Is it happening practically? Okay, so once upon a time, you have to hold it. Okay, so there's a here few plates. There's a, okay, there's a here. Uh, so what is it called? There's a fluorescent uh, cubes. Fluorescent is here. There's a here cathode ray cubes. Okay, so this is here. The moment as so we switch on, okay, like that, like that, like that. For five minutes, they uh, struggle like that. Then they, there's a, they used to blow. But then it is every day. There's a daily reason all of this. The moment, no time. The moment you start the meditation, like what's happening over there? The thing is, okay, so this is all the electrons not moving, the electrons will be moving. Okay, will there be any uh, other electrons uh, which will be moving with more speed? No, the same speed. But what's the reason? Can anybody tell? Can anybody tell? In fact, this is the okay, power point means that this is the, the source. The potential is given by this uh, from this point. But immediately the bulb is growing. Why? Thinking, thinking, your thinking is very, very essential. Remember, when you have thinking power, then only you will be able to do the problems. Okay, in mathematics, uh, okay, after by hotting some formula, a plus b whole square is for a square plus uh, two a b plus b square, the like that, some set of formula, sir. okay, I will buy hot, uh, I will put a is equal to two, b is equal to three. No, the type of things uh, will not come in physics. Your own thinking is essential. Your own thinking is essential. Did you understand the question? Yes or no? When the drift velocity is this much low, how come a bulb blow? This was the question which was asked in one of the previous CBSC class 12 board exam students. If you want, I can show you in one of the previous okay, years. Now, uh, before this uh, pandemic, uh, okay, there's a corona situation. What is the complete? You don't like answer? Okay, so kicking the students up to the higher levels, no. Can you get it? Huh? Yes or no? Okay, but once upon a time, huh? so the exam used to be conducted very, very strictly, seriously. <coughs> this was one of the questions. Reasoning, reasoning that. Yes, come on tell the reason. Yes. How is it? is very good. Very good. Doesn't school level, huh? In first year PUC, second year PUC, 
Hey, how do you stand yourself discipline when you test a car? Huh? It's not wrong. You see, Paul says, Paul practices. Huh? What calibrator? Maheshwari? Sapna? What do you say? Still doing those are missing. There are things. The hospital went home. They went home. Okay. What Maheshwari is not telling them? Huh? You are looking so weak. Huh? Okay. Ah, yes. Yes. Somebody. You say what to tell. Something. Ah, Saga. Sajan. Ah. ah, yes, a jewel. Ah. It's always jewel. But then, and during this, uh, during this week span, uh, the shine of jewel might have come up, but the shine never came. Good. Very good. You are right for us. Okay. I am talking about only one electron. Do you think in the complete 10 meter subconductor only one electron is present? Do you have to depend upon okay that particular electron only? But you want to know this thing? Okay. Okay. So until our jewel to older, no one is telling. Okay. From here to there, so many electrons will be there. Okay. The electrons, sir. Okay, will be present even get that. Yes or no? But the uh, source is here now. How will that electron get activated? By means of the electric field. What did I say? The moment you give the connection, the moment you switch on the key, the electric field gets established. So, what will be the speed of the electric field? The electric field takes place with the sweep of speed of the field. 3 into 10 of 8 meters. Okay, folks. Okay, so what about the electron which is present over here? Slowly, this electron will come. Slowly, this electron will come. 10 power minus 4 meter per second. It will take so much of time. Let it wait. No problem. But nobody will wait for that. Nobody will wait for that. Even the electrons are present with the device. Is that wrong? Get the consumer. Get the bulb. Okay, but that electron has to be activated. Who will do that? The electric field does that. The moment you switch on, the electric field will get muted. There is no problem. You can't feel it. Yes. Yes or no? Okay, 3 into 10 to 8 means very high speed. Yes or no? Okay, so that electric field will start initiating. Okay, the promotion of the electrons. Come on, next you go, next you go, next you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That electric field, okay, will keep on pushing the electrons up. In that way, circuit gets connected. Circuit gets closed. Immediately, the electrical energy is imparted to the power consumer. There is bulb. In that way, growing the bulb process takes place. It is the electric field which does. Not the electron which is getting drifted. Not that electron which is getting drifted. Now, do you understand? Do you understand? Like this. Okay. So here, the drift velocity is represented by Vd. Okay. Now, what is the definition of the electric current? What is the definition of the electric current? So if you don't take any conductor, in the conductor you take any cross-section. Through the cross-section, how much amount of charge flows per unit? Okay, the amount of charge that flows through any cross section of a conductor per unit time, per unit time in the sense in one second of time, in one second of time, how much amount of charge is flowing through a particular conductor? That is called electric current. So the things again to see. So you take a conductor over here. Okay, this is the cross section I am taking. Right, the electric field is applied in this direction by ah, connecting this conductor to the circuits to the power source and by switching on understand the electric field is coming like this then whatever the electrons which are present over here all the electrons will be moving in this direction all these electrons will be crossing through this cross section in one second of time duration how many electrons are passing through this cross section that becomes that becomes some that becomes some electric current that becomes the electric current. Therefore, so electric current in this particular case, you write the amount of charge that flows through 
Okay, present. Okay, that's a, uh, so any cross section of a conductor for unit time. Then what is uh, the SI units? Q is measured in terms of ohm. Okay, T is measured in terms of second. Okay, so in SI system, one coulomb per second is defined as one ampere. Ampere, name of the scientist. Name of the scientist. Okay, symbolically, how do you write so one coulomb per second is equal to one ampere? One coulomb per second is one ampere. And so, that's what is the dimension formula for the system? Okay, electric current and you have the electric current itself is a fundamental part. So, yay! Okay, is the dimension of symbol. Yay! Is the dimensional symbol of the electric current. Yay! Is the dimensional symbol of the electric current. Dimensional symbol of the electric current. Okay, so you will sum up the problems or applications. We will be measuring the electric currents which are of very, very low limits. And difficult to take the PM junction diode. When the junction diode is in the forward bias condition, we will be measuring the electric currents in terms of milliamperes. One milliampere is equal to minus three ampere. When you take a PM junction diode, when PN junction diode is in the reverse bias condition, when less amount of current is obtained in the reverse bias condition, okay, the electric current is measured in terms of micro amperes. One micro ampere is put in for minus six ampere. So these are the conversions that we are going to use when solving the problems. Okay, so this I will give you a small okay problem, the LKG problem I will give you. The LKG problem. Okay, LKG problem. Okay, ah, yes, calculate the number of electrons, number of electrons crossing a given cross section. Crossing a given cross section when Two amperes of current of one inch to the middle. Okay, so there is a conductor. In the conductor, I have taken a cross section. Through the cross section, okay, two amperes of current is flowing. The current passes through the cross section for one minute of time. For one minute of time. Okay, how many electrons are crossing? How many electrons are crossing? Yes. Seven point five to ten power eighteen. Zero Eighteen electrons are passing. Okay, the answer has come. You can not mind. Very speed. Good, very good. Speed is good. Sachin, what do you say? Yes, calculator. 10 power? 20. 7.5. 10 power 20. Just 100 degrees. 20 and 89. 20. 20. Huh? Ah, 20. Okay. He is supported by one more student. Yes, such a. Huh? Same thing. Yes, remaining people. Maheshwari, understood? Sakshi, understood? Okay, Sapna, did you get the same thing? Here it is different. Ah, what here? Last benches, boys. What's the answer? What's it? Huh? 
Huh? Are you doing or are you waiting? I am waiting, sir. You will be doing? No. Huh? When you do, there must be some people who have to wait. Huh? That's why I am waiting. Huh? What I'm saying? Your answer. Yes. Okay. Now let's look at this here. The given data is electric current has been given. So electric current is 2 ampere. Given the time has been given. So that's a one minute. So one minute means the 60 seconds over here because some guru per second. In terms of seconds, we have to put the value standard. Yes, I do it. Okay. Now, first of all, charge will depend on. We know that I is equal to Q by T. That implies Q is equal to I into T. So Q is equal to, this is 2 into 16. Okay, but what is Q by quantization principle? There are n number of electrons. There are n number of electrons. Understood? Okay, so that's, that will be equal to into 16. Okay, so number of electrons ultimately you are going to calculate. So this is 2 into 16 divided by charge on the electron 1.6 newton power mass. 19. Understood? Yes, I wrong. Okay. So, so, here you see 2 into 60. So, that is 120. 120 into 1 by. Ah, so, 16 into 10 power minus 20. So, 120. This goes up. And if all, you simplify this, you know the value 6.25 into 10 power 18. Am I correct? Okay, so 6.25 into 120, 6.25 into 12, first I will calculate. Okay, all fives are 16, all twos are 24, all six are 72. Yes, okay, one zero will come here, two points, 750, 750 into 10 power 80. But this is not the scientific notation. Okay. So 7.50 10 power 7.50 into 10 power 20. Okay, so your answer is quite correct. Good. 7.50 into 10 power 20. So that many electrons will be crossing through the cross section in one minute of time. Okay, under this two amplitudes of correct. Okay, now another important concept problems related concept. That is a relation between the relation between electric currents and drift velocity. Relation between electric current and drift velocity. Okay. Ultimately, by means of drift velocity of electrons, the electrons are moving. By, by means of the motion of the electrons, the electric current is obtained. Electric current is obtained, right? Now you need to establish the relation between the drift velocity and the electric current. Electric current. Right? Okay. So, that's, so what is the relation? Anyone remember? N-E-A-V-D. N-E-A-V-D. There, N stands for? Number of? Number of electrons. Any more? N stands for? N stands for? N stands for? You see, this, if you don't, you buy heart, okay, buy heart and the formula, sir, this is the problem. This is the problem. Unit? Any more? <laughs> ah. Okay, so N E A into V N E A into V So in this small game stands for number of electrons per Unit 
number of electrons per unit volt. But sometimes, okay, so the total number of the are here, so the electrons will be given to you. Okay, and if you put all this into day, okay, so this is here, you have taken one conductor over here like this. Huh? Okay, so this is here, okay, this is here like this, like this, okay, so this is here, mass of this conductor will be given. We have such problems, I will make you work out. Okay, there is a copper wire, there is a copper conductor, the mass of this copper conductor is, uh, uh, so this is say 10 grams. For example, 10 grams of copper conductor I have given you. 10 grams of copper conductor I have given you. Now you need to calculate the electric current passing through this. Hmm, how will you approach that? I did not give you any particles, number of particles, small n, and other things. Okay, I have just given you the so 10 grams of copper. 10 grams of copper. Ah. Ah, then what will you get by doing that? In such cases, what we do is look at this. First of all, small n we have to calculate. So, what is the procedure to obtain the small n? What is the procedure to obtain small n? Look at this here, you see. So, this is through this example, I will explain it. Okay, so I have given you copper wire. This is copper. Okay, so even if it is given in the data or not given in the data, one thing we must remember. What is that? Atomic weight of copper. Copper, how can you write? Copper, 29 copper. Okay, safe pH. Safe pH. Of course, copper has isotopes of 16 to 64 or 29 copper, 64 is also. But the matter, okay, 58 degree, primary one, basic one. Basic one. Okay, so what does it mean? So 58 grams of copper contains how many? 6.023 into 10 power 23 number of particles by Avogadro's hypothesis. Okay, then one gram of copper contains how many? 6.02 into 10 power 23 divided by so 58. One gram contains this many particles, particles means molecules, otherwise atoms. From each atom, one electron is coming out. This many electrons are there. See, okay, Avogadro's number that is not only related, okay, to molecules. Okay, 6.023 in 10 power 23 number of entities will be there. Those entities could be molecules, atoms, electrons, alpha particles, or anything. Okay, so that is called one mole. That is called one mole. Understood? Okay, so in the case of the solids and liquids, and in the case of gases. 22.4 liters of any gas contains 6.023 10 power 23 number of particles that is called one mole. Okay, so this Avogadro's hypothesis changes for gases. Understood? Okay, now there's a gap. So this is 6.02 into 10 power 23 divided by 28, one gram. So how many grams have I given? So 10 grams of copper contains how many electrons now? 6.02 into 10 power 23 divided by 58 into 10. So this many particles are present. This many electrons are coming out. And ultimately, through the complete conductor, what about the electric current that is executed? That electric current is due to this many number of particles, this many number of electrons. What is that? That is capital M, but not small n. Small n, number of particles per unit volume. Volume, you have to calculate. For that, okay, data will be given length of the conductor, radius of the conductor. Okay, by use of the radius, area of cross section, you have to find out. So, volume, so then by volume, length into area of cross section. Length into area of cross section. That gives you, that's a volume. That gives you volume. Length into area of cross section. Okay, okay. so this, this gives you, okay, there's a volume. Okay, ultimately, that means, okay, this is the electrons per unit volume. So this becomes a small n. In this equation, this value you need to substitute. That value you need to substitute. Very, very important point. Small n means number of electrons per unit volume. 
volume you need to calculate so the total number of particles by using Avogadro's number you need to calculate you will be getting capital gain that capital gain you need to divide by volume then you will get small that much you have to do for the sake of small small n will not be given directly remember of course sometimes it may be okay then you will be lucky time saving Okay, so if the data of the problem is like this, then this is the procedure that we have to apply. First of all, in that given, we also given specimen conducted, how many total number of particles are present? You need to calculate that the total number of particles you need to divide by volume, then you will be getting smaller. Then you will be getting smaller. That smaller we have to substitute in that. You need to substitute in that. Equation I is equal to N E A V D. So that is the relation between the electric current and the drift velocity. Okay. <clears throat> now, so this is something about this thing, right? Now coming to one more thing. Coming to one more thing in this particular concept. Okay. So the next concept of this is Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Ohm's law is a very business. Ohm's law, very business. So, what do you mean by Ohm's law? Okay, so here, George Simon. Okay. Okay, George Simon. Okay, why I have written his name completely? Why the age? Yes, okay, from his name, okay, that's the we will come across two units, okay, that's in his name. So this ohm is taken as one by SI units, even the semen also is taken as under the semen. And what about the greatest contribution he rendered? Okay, so he has a total of honor, okay, so two of the parts of his name were given as units, the SI units, SI units, okay. So this again, what do you mean by Ohm's law? What do you mean by Ohm's law? So look at this again, you see, I will give you this small activity. So this, I will be taking one bulb on here like this in this way. Right? Now I want to make the bulb grow. Okay. So for that purpose, what do I need? That cell. One single cell I will be taking. This is a single cell I will be taking. Single cell I will be taking. So by means of the single cell, you will be getting some potential. Am I correct? The moment you switch on the set coach, what happens? Uh, so let the potential be even. Then so electric current will be flowing in this direction. Okay, so last week I told you very clearly the actual moment of electron will be from negative to positive. But uh, okay, so positive to negative is taken as uh, the direction of conventional current. Okay, so what about the direction that we are showing in the set code, which is a conventional current? Uh, the actual electronic movement will be the opposite direction. Opposite direction. Okay. Because why? Because, okay. So the motion of the electrons will be always from higher potential to lower potential. So this is taken as higher potential point. This is taken as lower potential point. Lower potential points. Higher potential point and lower potential point. Lower potential points. Got the point? Okay. Now, according to this potential, some amount of electric current passes through the circuit, and accordingly, the bulb goes with some brightness. I want to have more brightness. That brightness is not sufficient for me. So then, what will you do? You will be putting one more cell in, okay, series. Then, in the second case, uh, the potential offered is V2. Use for minus V2 will be more than V1. Yes or no? Now, in the second case, uh, okay, so I2 the amount of current passes. Uh, what is the amount I2 and I1? Is I2 more than I1 or I2 is less than I1? Okay. Is I2 more than I1 or less than I1? More than I1, usually. Yes or no? I2 is more than I1. If you know, I want to have still more brightness, more brightness, then one more thing you will be putting. So by means of this simple activity, what can you conclude? 
in the electric circuit gas the number of cells increases so uh, ah the amount of current also increases gas the number of cells increases means potential increases so in an electric circuit when potential increases then potential increases uh, ultimately electric current increases so ohm observed okay this relation between the potential and electric current so ultimately what he said was in so in a closed electric circuit the amount of electric current passing is directly proportional to potential but there are some conditions over here so what are the conditions sir provided the temperature is kept constant and even other physical thermometers are kept constant just like a pressure humidity and all of this if these things change okay so this okay this a okay this a law may not be applicable of course this is fundamental law this is basic law even then it is governed by some conditions okay so the potential is a directly proportional to the current the potential is equal to the proportional to constant due to r proportional to constant due to r and what about the constant of proportionality okay o he represented by r that r is nothing but right? what about the opposition force i was talking to the moving electron that opposing force is this that is a constant but not universal constant universal constant means the acceleration okay just here uh, this is that uh, what is it called uh, this is universal gravitational constant 6.67 into 10 power minus 11 universal universal not only for earth and moon earth and sun you take same that you take any other two stars which are so far away from the earth same that universal gas constant that is capital r take any gas same that but this r which is resistance is not universal constant that is constant for a particular medium when material changes the velocity changes but gas on gas you use copper for copper same r the moment you go to okay aluminum for aluminum same way which is different from copper which is different from copper but it is like that the values will be changing so that is how electrical resistance This is called electrical resistance. Resistance R is equal to V by R. Okay, so provided temperature is kept constant, temperature is kept constant, temperature is kept constant. R is equal to V by I. R is equal to V by I. Okay, so what is the answer you need over here? So V is measured in terms of volt. I is measured in terms of ampere. All the ampere comes in the recipient of this. In a size system, one volt per ampere is symbolically defined as one ohm. So this is what is this letter? What is this letter? Letter. What is this letter? Oma. What is this letter? Letter. This letter is omega. Omega. Okay, so you can bring out in the MS Word. Okay, in the equation tools. Okay, so this is that the reverse slash will be there. The reverse slash equation to omega with capital O M E G A. If you type space, then this symbol comes. Shortcut. Okay, this is a, this is a keyboard shortcut. Understand? Sir, we need to offer angular frequency. We are using no sir. Angular velocity. This is, also, this is capital letter. This is small. I'm sure. You got capital letter, small letter, small letter. I don't know. I'm sure. Okay. Okay. So this is capital. That is small. Okay. This we will be using for resistance. That we will be using for angular velocity. That we will be using for angular velocity symbolic representations. Symbolic representations. Like that. Like that. Okay. Now I will give you a small task. What is that? So whatever this resistance that we are writing, dimensional value. 
What is the dimension of formula? Dimension formula, half resistance. Come on. Please don't take much time, just a little. Just a little bit. Okay, that has to come out. Dimensional formula of electric resistance because uh, in CET level examinations, uh, sometimes a dimensional formula will be asked. You should be ready for that. Even if you don't buy heart on the spot, you should be able to work out. Who will buy heart? Hundreds of dimensional formula will be there. Okay, you should not buy heart. Okay, if I, as, uh, I also understand. Okay, so listen, don't buy heart. Okay, on the spot, I will work out in there. I will. Okay, everybody does the same thing. Where is the lunch? Two up? Two o'clock. Huh? Two o'clock. So till two o'clock, I can eat. Okay. No? Huh? Huh? Okay. The extra session will be? Okay. After lunch. Okay. You tell me, you are comfortable. Till one thirty? Till two? Now the time is about 50. 10 minutes to 1. Huh? Until 1 o'clock. Huh? Till 1 o'clock. Only 10 minutes. What will you do? By 2 o'clock, lunch is there. Okay, 1 o'clock, what will you do? Okay. Till 1 30. Okay. Till 1 30. Okay? Right. Ah, yes, come on, come on. Yam L spray T Baba minus one. Next. Versa. That is a dimension formula of huh? Yangular momentum. Ah, Jibal, tell you. A power minus one. Is it are these three things correct? Okay, apart from this, a power minus one. Okay. A power minus one. Okay. Yes. Girls, what do you say? Calculator? My hands ready? Same thing? Same thing? Okay. So let me work out. See, such a dimensional formula, okay, don't try to buy hearts, but basic dimensional formula you know, basic dimensional formula you know, okay, so look at this again, R, that is V by I, okay, V by I, so V, V, potential, potential is what, definition, amount of work done in moving, definitions, you have to, you should not forget. Amount of work done in moving the test possible charge. Amount of okay, test possible charge. Right. Okay, so work done in spots. Okay, so what is the charge? Why? Right. What is this? Right? Now this ah, yeah. L square, P power minus 3, A power minus 1, this way. Okay, now this A also is going down. Yum, L square, P power minus 3, A power minus 2. Yum, L square, P power. 
minus 3 gaya ko ba? minus 2 ano siya? okay, ay yung original formula means becomes only order of its formula original formula original formula okay, like this right, now, so what are the factors on which electrical systems are conducted depends what are the factors on which electrical okay so the resistance of the conductor depends. So what are the factors on which the electrical systems depends to come on here? Come on tell. Yes, what are the factors? Ah, so the very first one is length. Okay, so keep the heading. So factors affecting. Factors affecting the electrical resistance. Factors affecting the electrical resistance. Factors affecting the electrical resistance. The electrical resistance. Okay, what are they? The very first one is some electrical resistance is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. Okay, the electrical resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section by rubbing these two things. What do you say? Proportional to the by A. R is equal to a proportional to constant flow into the other. Okay, so here we came across one more proportionality constant, which is rho, rho, Greek alphabet, rho, R H rho, rho. Okay, R H rho, rho. Okay, so what is that? What is that? Rho, resistivity. Other name? Other name. Other name of this row and specific okay resistance specific resistance or resistivity specific resistance or resistivity specific resistance or resistivity okay now for this row you need to write the units okay so if you want to write the units of this row you need to convert this complete equation in terms of row so in what way so rho is equal to r into a by l r is measured in terms of ohm a is measured in terms of meter square this is by meter so ohm meter so there is a the resistance ohm meter is the resistance unit of this row now, write the dimensional formula of this row and then come on, come on, come on, come on, write it out. Dimensional formula of this row. M L M L power three L ah T power minus three Y power minus two Yes, come on, check the T power answers. Okay. Yes. Right. Same thing, huh? Same thing? Okay. So let me check it out. So look at this here. Rho, we are writing. R into A by L. Okay. R into A by L. Okay. So resistance. R will be how many million? So what is that? M. P power. A power. A. 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 Okay, right. So this is young LQ. Right. Okay. So this is something about the dimensional formula of resistance. They are specific resistance. Specific resistance. Okay. Okay. Right. Now I will give you. Okay. <laughs> Okay, some, there's some problems. First, easy problem. I will give you 
So in this cell, there are some problems related with this cell. I will take you the couch. Okay. So problems I will take now. Problems. What kind of problem do you like to have? Do you see more rates are difficult? Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Huh? Yes, dear. Yeah. Huh? Okay, first easy one I will give you. Right? Okay, otherwise there's some you will get anger. Then okay, we will go for okay, harder. Okay, yes, what may you? Never correct? You did not, you are not. That's, that's, that's why the son I huh? uttered his name. Huh? Okay, I uttered his name even though he is huh? he was not in a position to catch. Uh, right, so my name is heard. Uh, my name is uh, unspoken. Why? What happened? Uh, huh? What do you have? Mayur? Alison Wonderland. Alison Wonderland. Okay. Great. Take down the problem. Yes. Very simple. This is Yalgeshi. Okay. Now I will improve the standard. Ah, yes. How much? Four times. Four times increases. Right? So do not wait. So let me discuss some the solution also. The length of a conductor is double. Initial length L1. So there is final length L2. That is two L. Okay. Area of cross section is how? Initial area of cross section. Okay. So there is A1. That is A. And final area of cross section A2. So that is A2. Initial resistance R1 is equal to rho into L1. Final area. Final resistance R2. Is equal to rho into L2 by L. L2 that is some um, 2L by. So this is A by 2. So this is 4 into rho into L by A. Okay, 4 into R1. So resistance increases by 4 times. Okay, now the question is now the question is very simple question I'll ask. Yes. How simple? Two percent. Two percent. Huh? More to the city of the people. Two percent is not Not even approximate. Two percent means you are so far away. You are so far away from the answer. You are so far away from the answer. Ah. Yes. 
Yes, come on, think of many more counts. All the remaining people, okay, what we have to do is when I do the problem, how I am doing, you need to observe. Okay, you need to observe. And so by keeping that method in mind, you have to try. Because ultimately we have to get a uh, good rank now. Never get that. This is not the time passing uh, process. It's not no, we are not here to just to pass the time. There is no purpose. The purpose has to be so never get that. Very rank we have to get the free seat, we have to get the Huh? But that is pretty well possible. Don't think that, oh, it may not be possible. It seems it is very difficult. No, it is not at all. Very simple. The thing is, uh, in a proper approach, we have to proceed. That's all. What's that? Still in the time. Still in the time. Why did you show it? But the step process will be asked now. Shall I show the same person say meet or uh, sleeping? Huh? What are you? Are you? Point zero. Point zero. No guessings. No guessings. No guessings. Exact value for it. Not even around about. Not uh, so not even near. I have uh, very close to myself. What is my class? What like this? Huh? Okay, not even. Like Sad. You need to touch. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes, 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 come on, come on, come on. Okay, shall I tell? Huh? You anyone started? Jibber. Jibber's greatness is if at all he feels that he is able to, then only he will work out. Then only he will be done. At the moment where uh, this is somewhat in the accident, he will simply be reached there. <laughs> Huh? Jewelry standing outside Wilson. Okay. So he has decided not to touch, not to see that. It's like a What are you? Jewel? Can I get it? Ah, yes. Okay. How are you? Do it on the board. <laughs> Do it on the board. Yes, girls, my hair is Okay. <laughs> Calculator. Beginning. Sapna. Can you beginning? Okay. See, this is this type of our problems. We come across and very deep. Understood? This, uh, this type of problems. Okay, so you will come across. This is called applicate. This is called applicate. Okay. Ah, you know, conductor. How does uh, two ampere circuit is passing? And the potential is a uh, 5 volt. Ah, what is the resistance? Okay, this type of problems you never, never come across. Understood? This type of problems you never come across. This is applicable. This is applicable. Got it? Okay, see here. So, in this, first of all, one must have an idea of a percentage change. So, what do you mean by percentage change? Look at this. Okay, you need to go for linear steps. See here. Initial resistance are the maintained. Final resistance of the because there are two conditions. No, 
one percent increase in the length. Okay, so before one percent increase, there will be some resistance. After one percent increase, the resistance will change. Resistance will change. Okay, the final resistance is R2 over here. What is the percentage change? Tell anybody. Percentage change means some change in the resistance over the initial value into 100. This is what change the resistance. Percentage change means a change in resistance over the initial value. Over the initial value into 100. This is called percentage change. This is called percentage change. Okay. Now, R1, I will suppose as R. Okay. So, initial file, two things are there. Okay. So, on initial, so I am writing over here. Initial. And on final, so I am writing over here. Yes. Okay. So, initial length del1 is equal to L2. Okay. So, you need to see here. So, final length del2 is equal to how much? It is increased by 1%. Okay, so initial value is del increased. If it is decreased, then minus one percent of here. Okay, one percent of here means one by hundred of here. Okay, delta is equal to one zero one del by hundred. Oh, I see this figure here. Not one hundred. How to handle that? Those figures. Very simple. Okay, so this is equal to 101 by 100. This is final length. But what about the, the area of cross section? Okay, get what level? Get what level? By stretching, if I don't mention the code, stretching, you may think like that. Ah, this is one conductor. One more conductor is attached. Then what happens? So there will be no change in the area of cross section. Only length will be this. Stretching. When you stretch like this, what happens? Sir? The, the, so the thickness okay, of the wire decreases. The thickness decreases. Understand? Okay. Now, A2 will be how much? A2 will be how much? In the whole process, one thing remains constant. What is that? One thing remains constant. Volume remains constant. That we have to keep in mind. Volume remains constant. Initial volume is equal to final volume. Okay, so initial volume, length into area of cross section. Final volume, L2 into final area of cross section. L1, A1 is equal to L2, A2. L1, L. L so A, A1, A. Okay, now, so L2 is equal to how much? L into AY, L2. But what is L2? This. A2 is equal to L into AY. This is some 101 L. By 100. Okay, these two things will get cancelled. 100 by 101 into B. That's what the final area of cross Okay, now initial. Okay, so resistance I will write. Initial resistance that is R1 is equal to R. R. What is that? Rho into L by A. Yes, sir. Rho into L by A. Okay, now final resistance R2. What is R2? Rho U, L2 by U. In these two cases, rho I have taken as it is. Rho 1, rho 2, I am not taking because same metal, same material, same wire. Same wire. Got it? Okay, so rho into L2 by A2. Rho into L2 by A2. Okay, now what is L2 over here? Rho into L2. 101 by 100 into L. A2 is how much? 100 by 101 into L. So this is rho A2. 101 by 100 whole square into L by A. Okay. Rho into L by A is how much? R2 in this case. Ah, rho into L by A is how much? Initial resistance R. So 101 by 100 whole square into R. Right? Okay. Now this is here. Percentage change. Okay, we need right. R2 minus R1. Here I am writing. R2 minus R1 by R1. R2 minus R1. How much? 101 by 100 whole square into R. 
minus r by r. So r will get cancelled out. What do you what did you get now? 100 whole square minus 1. Understood? Okay, now huh? so that's again. This is one. Okay, so that's I can write one. Understood? Okay, now this word. So uh, what is this? What do you think of it? Yes, there is this way. Here plus B, B minus B. A plus B. A minus B. Okay. A plus B. A minus B. Huh. Understood? Yes, no? So what is this? R2 minus R1 by R1. Percentage change into 100. Okay, so this is 201. 1 by 100 into 200. Okay, price two point zero one percent. Two point zero one percent. Options will be given like this. Okay, ah, option A two percent. Option B two point one percent. Option C two point zero one percent. Option D two point zero zero one percent. Then what will you do, Sachin? <laughs> None of this is a part of it. Understood? Okay. So that's why. Okay. Till the end, you have to work out. Till the end, then you need to work out. Okay. Yes. Like this. But don't get frightened by seeing this type of values. One at one by whole squares. Okay. So those values we can remove by using it. Yes. Square minus square. But formation somehow we have to remove it. And show how much time there's a little bit. Maybe there's a few steps. A few steps. Understand? Okay. Few steps. Okay. All right. Okay. Similar problem I will give you. You try to work out now. Come on, take down. Come on. Time is over. Ah. Yes. The area of cross section of a wire the area of cross section of a wire is reduced. The area of cross section of a wire is reduced by zero by one percent. By 0 0.1 percent. Okay, calculate the percentage change in resistance. Zero one zero one will be like today. Somebody is telling zero one zero one. Ah, there is answer. Uh, answer which is guessed. Huh? Zero one zero one. Some sound has come. Huh? Huh? Yes, the area of cross section is reduced by 0.1%. Then the percentage increase, percentage change in the resistance found. Zero point two percent. Zero point two percent decreases. Huh? When the area of cross section is reduced because the resistance decreases or decreases? Not related to this problem in general. Okay, when the area of cross section decreases, will the resistance increase or decrease? Increases. R is inversely proportional to A. Okay, so when the area of cross section decreases, resistance has to decrease. Resistance has to decrease. 
Okay. Ah, yes. Okay. So there's a distress. You are okay for that. <laughs> what man? This one, huh? You people are getting scared and moving away. Huh? Zero two percent decreases. 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 Options are zero point two. Zero point two zero. Huh? Zero point two zero one. Okay, like that. Options. Should I work out? Working out. Yes, sir. You should be the ones in organizing the numbers, in dealing with the numbers. The easy process. Mm -hmm. 
Zero one zero two. One more answer. Yes, yes. Good. 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 Okay. You should like. Okay. Numbers. You should like doing the problems. You have a developed interest. Ultimately, we have handled the numbers now. Understand? Okay. Ultimately, you need to handle with the numbers. Okay, you should not huh? get scared, you should not develop any negative feeling about uh, who will uh, write those numbers. Huh? Okay, not like that. You have to love. Okay, dealing with the numbers. But okay. okay. <clears throat> so look at this again to see. See, initial length delta is equal to n. Okay. So final length is equal to how much? We don't know. Initial area of cross section that is a. Final area of cross section reduce reduce means a minus 0 0.1 percent of initial 0 0.1 by 100 of okay a2 is equal to how much this is a thousand thousand minus one 999 by thousand of Then, with respect to this, uh, what rule? Then to become, we know that the volume remains the same. L into A is equal to L2 into A. Okay, L into A is equal to L2, A2 value is um, triple nine by thousand into A. A, A will get cancelled. Therefore, L2 is equal to, so thousand by triple nine. Okay, of oh, ah, yeah. Okay, okay, so initial uh, resistance R1 that is R you say rho into the other one. Okay, now final so resistance R2 is called how much rho into L2 by A2. By A2 triple nine by thousand of A. Therefore, R2 is for how much? Rho into L by A. R. Give me the value. Okay. So this is a thousand by triple nine whole square R. Yes or no? Okay. Here is difficulty. Did I face any difficulty over here? Till here? Very simple. Okay. Now, percentage change. Percentage change in resistance. Okay. So this becomes by into 100 direct average. Direct average. Okay. So this R2 lens R1. Okay. So this, like this, some of the steps in the mind only we have to think over. So this minus initial resistance R divided by R. So in the numerator, from those two terms, R, when you take a scan, that particular R in the denominator R, both the things will get cancelled out. Okay, so there is no denominator R now, right? Now, numerator, what will be? Ah, so, a thousand times, triple nine whole square, minus one into hundred. Yes, sir. Okay, now this becomes one square. Okay, so thousand divided by triple nine plus one. Thousand minus that's a here by triple nine minus one into okay. So what is this sum? One nine 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 by triple nine. So what is this one by into hundred? Into 100. Okay? Into 100. Okay. So, 1. Okay. So, this is, we need to go for multiplication. Okay. You can multiply if we put a number with a speed in touch. Otherwise, I will do one thing. Approximation, rounding of everything. In what way? Triple 9 
as thousand will do. One I will be added to. One I will be added in the sense so one extra has come down. I will be okay, subtracting one out. I will subtract one here. I will add it. Okay, one here. This becomes a okay, nine nine eight. This becomes a thousand. Can I do that? Take it. Only this is only off of okay, approximation very close, not having a much deviation. Not having much deviation. But okay, now this, this becomes a nine nine eight into thousand into hundred. Now this can be cancelled now. So okay, so this is one nine nine. Now how to go for division? How to go for division? Don't get scared. Don't get frightened by the means of distribution. Very simple. One. Okay. So nine nine eight is zero. Okay. C zero punch. Okay. In this type of bigger divisions, like this, we have both. Look at this. I'll have to look at the ball. This is the way how we have to get faster. 9,000, 19,000. This is the 9,000, 19,000. In the 19, 9, two times. Okay, ah, okay. Listen, okay, so this is here. Okay, so now, now, okay, shall we go for another prayer? Okay, so zero. Yes. Okay, zero and zero. This is a nine thousand, this is a three thousand. Again, one more zero we have to push. Then it becomes a very, very small. Okay, don't go up to there. Zero. Zero point two percent. Zero point two percent. Okay, match. Okay, thank you. So this is okay. So this is here by means of this problem. Okay, my intention is not okay that I have to make you understand this problem. This problem is secondary. Primary is Whenever you come across this type of big, big numbers, don't get frightened. Okay, like that, that's it. we have to go for approximations and we have to simplify it. We need to simplify it. But it is okay, so here, triple nine into triple nine, if you keep multiplying it, for the moment, have a multiplication of units of time. And moreover, the 100 is not getting answered. The, the 100 goes to numerator. You need to multiply. Then it becomes a distance. Yes, sir. Triple line into triple line will become this much. Yes, sir. No. Okay. So you will get a headache. Okay. So this is why solving the problem. So this is the technique. Okay. This is how you have to proceed. But, okay. but I am telling you, you will come across sometimes this type of okay. That's a bigger, bigger numbers. Understand that? Okay. Now the time is one thirty-three. Okay. So take half an hour of break. Okay. So this is here after lunch. So we will be okay. So doing the problems, okay, with the uh, uh, so that's the conductance, the conductivity, and uh, next uh, resistances in operations and other things. And uh, uh, next uh, after this, uh, here other uh, selection, uh, electromagnetic force uh, and terminal voltage, internal systems. Okay, then okay, this is uh, cells in series and the parallel. Uh, okay, then we have to go for Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's laws and other things. Otherwise, we will do one thing. So, Kirchhoff's laws and this thing is so for tomorrow. So we will see. For now, we are able to complete by today. So, I will be completing Kirchhoff's laws and the electrical measurements and the range of function and those things. Ah, okay, that's a tomorrow. So, I will post. For the time? Okay. Okay. So, after lunch. Okay. So, that's a, uh, to whom should I take? To you or to those people? Okay. That's what we need to. Well, okay, because of, uh, tomorrow itself, we have a kind of package now. Huh? Okay, this is for you, this is everyday. Huh? For them, okay, tomorrow morning by 8 o'clock, this is 